Jordan, Galilee, Nazareth, Bethlehem. Oh, sister, I think we've reached our journey's end. God is good. Oh, yeah. Come, sister. Sister, regarde. The stable. Enfin, at last we arrive. Oh, oui. Johnny B. If you don't, I'll worry. Oh, don't strike him yet, Mr. Matthews. I can't bear to see. I, I mean, uh, uh, wait. She only asks him to sing it once more, and he keeps it up and keeps it. She wants it for inspiration. She said and so. Keeps it up and keeps it. You don't have to sing anymore, Johnny. Well, I think we've done enough for today. I expect you're all very tired, and well, you've all been very patient. You can take your wings off, Johnny. Oh, I'll get down. In his pot, can I wear the wings a minute? No, you can't. No. Well, Willie, uh... You want to go down, Sonny? Uh. You run along home and start supper, Mama. The kids and I'll get the animals out. Willie, you get the cow. John? Johnny! I'm afraid the animals are not going to like leaving this nice, warm room. Oh, my goodness, how you startled me. You know, in this light, I thought you were two nuns. <laughs> we are. So you are. Perfectly charming. How do you do? How do you do? You are Miss Amelia Potts, who paints the beautiful religious pictures. Why, thank you. Yes, I am. Well, this is Sister Scholastic, and I'm Sister Margaret. Oh, very nice. Oh, but oh, what am I thinking of? Won't you come in? Thank you. If we're not intruding. Oh, of course not. And you must meet my little group. Mr. and Mrs. Matthews. How do you do? And their delightful children. Johnny, you sang beautiful. They're my good neighbors, and they live right next door. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Willie. How do you do, Willie? They often pose for me. <laughs> well, uh, sit down, sisters. I don't think we'd better stay, Miss Potts. Oh. It's getting on towards our supper time. Oh. Yes, and bedtime, too. Good night, Miss Potts. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Good night, Mr. Matthews. I'll take care of the kids. You get the sheep, Jean. Good night. Bonsoir. Good night. Oh, 
wonderful family. And so many of them. Five. Oh, do sit down, sister. All the chairs. Mm. Won't you come in here and have some tea? That would be very nice if it isn't too much bother. Oh, no bother at all. The tea kettle is right here somewhere. You know, this used to be a stable. And then the young man who rented it before I did turned it into a studio. I don't know why, because he was a very bad artist. And then I've often thought of turning it back into a stable again. Just to make my little place more authentic, you know. Oh. Now, where's that kettle? Uh, this is it, maybe? Oh. So it is. How clever. And now, uh, water. Oh, already there is inside. Oh, I fix it. And uh, cups. Uh, yes. Allow me, Miss Potts. Oh, thank you. Now, isn't this cozy? Oh, the milk is up. Oh, no, it isn't. It's... Oh, your car or a taxi waiting. Perhaps the driver would like a cut, too. No, no, there's no one waiting. We walked from the station. All the way from Bethlehem? Yes. It's such a beautiful night. We felt it more fitting for our pilgrimage. Pilgrimage? To the stable. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, tell me, sisters, are you from some order in the city? I don't seem to recognize your habit. No, of course no, Miss Potts, we're from France. Oh. We're of the order of holy endeavor. Our ship came ready the harbor at dawn. We were on deck to see the Statue of Liberté. From France. Then you're French. Oh, no, but you can't be. Oh, no. No, I was born in Chicago, but I went to school in France and later took my vows there. And now you're going back to Chicago for a visit. Oh, no. No, that's not why we came here. We came to build a hospital here. Here? In Bethlehem? Well, you see, during the war, Sister and I worked in the children's hospital. It stood on a hilltop and in the path of an advancing American armored division. The Nazis were using it for an observation post, and it was inevitable that the hospital would have to become a target. Well, we moved most of the children out, but there are over a hundred that couldn't be taken from their beds, or critical cases. So one night I made a promise to God that if he would help me get through to the American general and the hospital would be spared, that I would one day come back home to my own country and build just such a hospital for her sick children. How touching. And how exciting. Goodness, uh, what happened then? Do go on. Did you get through? Oh, yes, yes. We got through. Three days later, when the attack was over, everything in the village was leveled to the ground. But the hospital still stood. So you see, God kept his end of the bargain, and now I'm going to try to keep mine. Sister Scholastica promised to help me. It was presumptuous of us, we know, but because our debt is so great and the payment is so small by comparison. Tell me, sisters, uh, why did you select our little community for your hospital? Well, you know, that was the hand of Providence. We had a postcard with a reproduction of your painting, Come to the Stable. And on the back of it, it told all about Miss Amelia Potts, the lady who lived in Bethlehem, who painted religious pictures. Oh, I'm very flattered that someone sent it to you. It was to us like the star of Bethlehem leading the way. And the bishop, he's working with you, of course. He must be very pleased. Well, we, we haven't seen the bishop uh, yet, but um, Sister and I intend to call upon him tomorrow at Sands Point. Don't we, Sister? We... Now we would like to see your paintings. Oh, yes, please. Oh, of course, my paintings, yes. Now, um... Oh, well, uh, there's nothing very much here. Just a few landscapes, finger exercises, I call them. I don't sell many of those, but uh, I've got some new ones here. I'm just going to have framed. And uh, do look, look at them. And uh, while you're looking, I I'll start supper. Oh, uh, I'd love to have you stay for supper. Oh, thank you. I think there's a train. Uh, oh, yes, there is. We inquired at the station. It leaves for Sands Point at 8.15 in the morning. Oh. Morning. Oh, dear Miss Potts, don't let us inconvenience you. We can sleep anywhere. But I only have a tiny spare room over in my little house. That would do nicely. Oh, regardez, sister. This is nice, no? Oh, yes, that's lovely. Oh, oh that's just a hill near here. Oh? Uh, across the way, as a matter of fact. Oh, across... Oh, sister, right across the way. 
such a beautiful spot. It's indeed beautiful. And this is the very spot, sister. We'll bury it here. Nomine Patris et Filia et Spiritus Sancti Amen. Dear St. Jude, patron of the impossible and of our holy endeavor, here on this lovely hilltop, with the help of our Lord and his dear servants, we will build your hospital. And no one ever trusts it for the spirit of Sancti Amen. Arson, come back here. Come back here. Arson, Arson, down. Get down, Arson. Arson, Arson. Get down, boy. Get down, boy. Here now. Oh, I'm sorry. He must have given you an awful scare. Oh. He's just a little too friendly and too big. He is just a puppy, isn't he? Yes. He's only trying to play with us. sister. I'm grateful for the experience, though. I've often wondered how the Christian martyrs felt when they were thrown to the lions. <laughs> Why do you call him Arson? It's a criminal name with such a lovely dog. Oh, I didn't name him that. He had that name when I got him. Oh. He was raised in the firehouse at Bethlehem. Oh. I won him from the fire chief on an election bet. <laughs> you see, sister, in America, firemen usually have dogs as mascots. Dalmatians. Oh. Oh, but he isn't a Dalmatian. Oh, don't let him hear you say that. Oh? He's very proud of this. What's here, that? you see this spot here? Oh, yeah. Well, that's the Dalmatian in him. Such a small spot. <laughs> yes, I know, but it's affected his character. He's off the minute he hears a fire bell. <laughs> <laughs> and now, sisters, that I've introduced my dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Allow me to introduce ourselves. Sister Scholastic and I'm Sister Margaret. How do you do, sisters? My name's Mason, Bob Mason. Oh, Mason. How do you do, Mr. Mason? We're guests of Miss Potts. Amelia? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. You know, I often think she must get quite lonely living there. Uh, she rents the place for me. Oh. But uh, I feel quite guilty. I haven't got down to see her very often. Hey, then you, you own most of this property, do you, Mr. Mason? Oh, no, no, no. My, my place is down there, Mount Canaan. Oh, I see. Where does the property end, Mr. Mason? Hmm? Why, uh, where the road cuts through. Oh, quel dommage. Yes, it is a shame. Yes, I suppose it is, but... Still, I can't own all the beauty spots in New England. No, of course not. <laughs> and now, sisters, I don't want to sound like a game warden, but why are two ladies of your uh, gentle persuasion admiring the scenery at 5 o'clock in the morning? We always get up early, Mr. Mason. It's our custom. Oh. And now, I'm sorry, but we have to start down for breakfast. Well, I'll walk with you, if I may. Oh, certainly. Thank you. Come on, boy. Well, that's life for you. Breakfast time for you, bedtime for me. I do some of my best work after midnight. Oh. I write music, popular stuff mostly. Oh. Here, Arson, go get it, boy. Yes, uh, jive, swing, jazz, that sort of thing. Oh, Le Jazz Hut! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, sister. Although lately I've been trying to step up in class. You know, I, I always thought that music of that type, so tense and nervous, would be written in, well, big cities. Well, most of it is, I guess. Oh. But for me, I like peace, seclusion, quiet. <laughs> My educated friends tell me it has something to do with man's feeling of insecurity. Mr. Mason, God's the only answer to man's insecurity. Yes, yes, I suppose so. Uh, uh, who does own that land, do you know? Land? Oh, you mean the hill? Yes. Luigi Rossi. Luigi Rossi. Uh, do you know him? No, Rossi? Oh, no, I should say not. Oh. Well, this is where I leave you. It's been very nice meeting you, sisters. Thank you. I don't suppose I'll be seeing you again, but the best of luck. Thank you very much. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, boy. Monsignor Talbot, did you tell the bishop that unless he acts quickly, they will cut down that beautiful elm tree on Maple Street? Just a moment, Mrs. O'Connor. Well, I... Who's next? I, I believe we are, Munson. This way, please, Thank sisters. You. Look, Father, I gotta give testimony in court. Just a moment, later. please. The bishop will see each one in his proper turn. Bishop's a busy man, Monsignor. Yes, indeed. The sisters from France, Your Excellency. Well, sisters, that's quite a project. Quite a project. I know it seems so, Your Excellency, but we have given it careful thought, and we're prepared to go about our task in a most businesslike way. Uh, we've made a list of essentials. I have it right here. And you'll be glad to see that we have cut down our essentials from the original list of 12 items to two items. Well, that sounds practical, sister. What are these items? Uh, land and money. But, sister, that's rather a large order. Your reasoning is uh, 
Well, uh, why don't you just put down one item, money, and be done with it? Oh, no, no, Your Excellency. Uh, I don't like to disagree, but the land is quite separate from the money. Uh, you see, we've already seen the land. It belongs to a Mr. Rossi, a Mr. Uh, Luigi Rossi. And Sister and I are sincere in our belief that Mr. Rossi might donate the land to us. Luigi Rossi, name is familiar. But even if you get this land, what about financial support? What have you got? We have the intercession of St. Jude. Yes, but uh, what have you got? Well, nothing yet, Your Excellency. But we've only just arrived. And uh, have your papal sanction for all this? We have the warm approval of the papal secretary. Uh, that is, in principle. He told us all we needed was your approval and adequate financial support. So you see, Your Excellency, it's really very simple. Your courage and willingness are beyond criticism, sisters. Your charity is great. It is too bad that in face of these, I must also face facts. I'm sorry, but I can be of no financial help to you in any way. This diocese has a long waiting list for charities for which I must find aid before I can even discuss your problem with you. I don't see how I can grant permission. It's heartbreaking to have to say this, but I, I just can't do it. We understand, Your Excellency. Even if we could get Monsieur Rossi to donate the land? Please, Your Excellency, if you would give us a little time just to try. Well, if I were to grant you a month, have you money for living expenses? Oh, plenty. Fourteen dollars. And as I told you before, we're staying with Miss Potts. And our needs are very simple. Still, Miss Potts might welcome a few added groceries. Her paintings don't sell for what they should. I think the diocese should help a little. Oh, thank you, Your Excellency. Well, Senor Talbot, please give the sisters $50. Yes, Excellency. Your Excellency, just as soon as we can, we shall see Mr. Luigi Rossi. With the help of our dear Lord, I know that he'll... Luigi Rossi? Yes, Monsignor. Excellency, Luigi Rossi. Oh. Now I recall the name. Sisters? Yes? Nothing. Oh. I wish you success, sisters. And God bless you. Your Excellency, Monsignor. Sometimes the simple blind faith of such sisters is, is really disturbing. <laughs> Indeed not. Sublime, magnificent. Someone meeting your sister? Oh, no. You got far to go? Oh, just to Miss Potts' place, in the stable. Oh, well, that's, that's quite a way. And uh, pretty heavy walking through the snow, too. Maybe, maybe Anthony could give you a ride. Oh. Hey, Anthony! Yeah? Can you give two ladies a lift? Sure, they don't mind riding on top of the floor. <laughs> go right along with him. Well, now. thank you, thank you very that's much. That's all right. Okay. Get right in, ladies. Sure. Oh, pardon me, ma'am. I mean, uh, uh, ladies, I mean, sisters. Surely. Oh, you wouldn't, uh, I don't think. Uh, oh, well, you... I think we could manage, Anthony, if, if your boxes were rearranged a little. Sure, sister. Anything you say. I'll be right there, Sister, this one up here, ready? Oh. Right. Uh, just a minute. Now, just a minute. Oh, you... one moment, Monsieur Anthony. This box, it contains Chateau Ikemel, very fine wine. It must be arranged so. Yes, gently. Oh. Sister, those boxes are going to fall just as sure yes, as you... Yes, you're right. Well, well, perhaps you'd better sit right back there, Anthony, and hold them, and then Sister can sit up front with me. Oh. Yeah, but who's going to drive? I will. Oh, during the war, the G.I.s taught Sister Margaret all about the G. Yes, ma'am. I, I mean, sister. Okay.
Excuse me, sister. Yes? I, I'm not a Catholic. Would you mind telling me what sort of sisters you are? Why, certainly. We're of the Order of Holy Endeavor. Our motto is labor et ora. That means we work and we... And we pray! I'm sure you do, sister. I'm sure you do. Thank you, Anthony, for a pleasant ride. My, you certainly keep this Jeep in a beautiful condition. Although I thought I noticed a slight wrist pin knock when I slowed down on the curb. When you slowed down? Yes. Yes, sister, anything you say. Good. We hope we did not take you too much out of your way. Oh, no distance at all. I went right over to Mr. Mason. Oh, no, I rather presumed you did. Uh, well, remember us to him and uh, thank him too, will you? Oh, you know Mr. Mason? Oh, yes. We met him early this morning. Goodbye, Anthony. And remember, drive carefully. Come in. Why, sisters, back already? Oh, it's late, Miss Potts. You've been so busy working, you've lost track of time. Oh, you must be cold and tired. Oh, no, no. Oh, goodness, I haven't even thought of supper. Oh, we did. Eggs and cheese for the omelette, butter, white bread, and an apple for your dessert. Oh, sister. And for us. You shouldn't. Oh, it is nothing. The shops here have much food. We've had a wonderful day. And we have good news. Oh, you saw the bishop? Yes. Well, isn't that nice? Now, do sit down and, and tell me about it. Yes. Oh. Oh. Please, sister, let me. Oh, no, it's quite all right. Oh, no, please. Oh, surely. Well. <laughs> You saw the bishop? Yes. And His Excellency has given us permission to stay a month. Oh, isn't that nice? Are you going to stay here? Oh, dear Miss Potts, we hoped that you would invite us. Oh, you're very welcome, of course. Oh, thank you. Now, if we get the land, which we have already selected... You've already then... selected the land? Oh, yes. Oh, my dears, how busy you've been. Uh, tell me, where is the building going to be? On that beautiful hilltop there, the one that you painted. Oh, the Rossi property? Yes. Oh, I... I am relieved you don't know how we felt. Well, then you know Mr. Rossi. Oh, no. No one knows Mr. Rossi's sister, Margaret. Oh, yeah. I can't think how you managed it. I didn't know he'd sell. The bishop must have given unlimited support. He gave us $50. 50 Yes, which we're going to share with you. And now, the first thing tomorrow, we must find Mr. Rossi. And with the help of our Lord, perhaps he'll donate the property to us. Donate? Yes. Oh, no. No, sisters. Luigi Rossi, donate. Oh, no, no. You can't. Well, we must try, Miss Potts. We made a promise. Miss Potts, do you know where Mr. Rossi lives? Uh, no, I, I don't know. Oh. New York, I guess. New York. Oh, thank you. And now supper. We must ask Mr. Mason to loan us his jeep. We must see him very early in the morning before he goes to sleep. Yes, yes. Keep your shirt on. Who is it? Oh, good morning, Mr. Mason. Well, for the lover. Oh, you were asleep. But it isn't six yet. We thought we'd catch you when you finished your work and we're relaxing. I was relaxing, all right. However, what can I do for you? Well, you see, uh, Sister and I want to go to New York, Mr. Mason, and we were wondering if by Listen, any chance... if I stand here any longer, I'll be an icicle. I'll be right with you. Oh, of course. Le Vachepote. Not pas fâché. Perhaps a little cross. Oh, j'espère que non. Oh, j'espère qu'il va donner la jeep. Regardez un peu plus dans l'escalier maintenant. You uh, have to excuse the way I look. Uh, come in, won't you, please? Uh, thank you, but we have to be on our way. <laughs> We're truly sorry to have disturbed you, Mr. Mason. Oh, well. But we understood you to say that you worked all night. Well, I do usually, but not always. Oh, I see. What can I do for you? Well, sister and I have a great favor to ask of you. May we borrow your Jeep for the day? Jeep? Why, well, yes, I suppose you could. Oh, uh, sure. You. Uh, it's in the garage. Help oh, yourself. Thank I'd you. get it for you. No, but, don't bother. Uh, I'm not we, we can manage. Goodbye. And thank you, Mr. Goodbye. Goodbye. Our oh, Lord will bless you. Glad to help out. Good night, sisters. Good morning, Mr. Mason. <whistles> Oh, excuse me, I met the dog. Come on, Arthur. Oh, of course. Well, good night, Mr. Mason. Good morning. Oh, yes, good morning.
Sisters. It's the key, Mr. Mason. It isn't in the ignition. The key? Yes. Oh, well, probably Anthony. Oh, no, he went into town last night. Well, I'll try to see if I can find mine. You'd better come in, sisters. Oh, no, thank you. We'll wait here. Okay. Well, he's a very obliging young man, isn't he, sister? Perhaps you would like to make a donation? Oh, no, sister, this is not the propitious time. No? No. Uh, Here you are, oh, sister. Thank you very much. Now all set? Yes. You're sure there's nothing else? <laughs> no, there's nothing else. Thank you. And if you need any gas, you can get it at Molnar's. It's the first place you come to on the right. Thank you. And charge it to me. Thank you again. Too terrible to think of, but we don't know where we're going. Do you think Monsieur Mason will? Well, we have no other choice. Good morning, sisters. What can I do for you? Oh, we feel dreadful about disturbing you again, Mr. Good morning, sister. Oh, good morning, Anthony. Good morning, good morning boss. You up already? Nice morning. Oh, say, boss, I found you a new cook last night. Ex-sister-in-law of my ex-sister-in-law. And the bus driver said to pay no attention to the snow. Early spring coming. If you finish with the 5 o'clock news, Anthony, you were about to ask, sister. Yes, I wanted to ask if you could tell us where we could find Mr. Luigi Rossi. His name isn't in the telephone book. We looked and looked. Oh, I'm afraid I can't help you, sisters. Excuse me, Mr. Mason. I can't, sister. Ask any policeman in New York. Just any policeman. Oh, thank you, Anthony. And thank you, too, Mr. Mason. We hope you have a pleasant day. Thanks. I shall. A long one. What a beautiful church. Yes. It's the famous St. Patrick's Cathedral. Oh. We're going in, aren't we? Why, yes, of course. And a special candle for St. Jude. You will notice, sister, that I put my hand out as a signal to turn. It's the law.
masseur. A policeman. Good. Officer. Good morning. Good morning, sister. Uh, could you tell us where Mr. Luigi Rossi has his offices? Offices? Yes. Well, sister, his hangout, uh, you can find him, that is, on 52nd Street. Oh. That's the second street up. Yes. Turn to the left. To the left. Down the middle of the block, the Republic Novelty Company. Republic Novelty. Sister, Thank you very much, officer. Good day. Oh, advertising, I think. Oh, these Americans and their publicity. Miss Alacrity. Three to one, rise up, carrying 114 pounds. Just a minute, sisters. Surely. What do they say about her? Grades went collar. Blinkers? On. Hey, Rose, you got a quarter? Thank you. Okay, fifth, hi, Leah. Okay, sisters, that's all for the day. We don't mean to interrupt you, but we've come to see Mr. Rossi. He ain't in. Okay, Rosie, what you got? Okay, sisters, you heard what he said. He ain't in. Oh, thank you. We'll wait. Got a dollar, Rosie? Sure, Whitey, go on up. Say, Whitey, what's the word? Miss Alacrity in the fourth. What I tell you, I got it right here, Miss Alacrity, I sir. Miss Alacrity. Come, sister. Sure thing, can't lose. See, Whitey. Pretty sharp wake up. Well, what have you got for the hand? Pretty girl, I got it straight for... Hey, you can't go up there. I don't know who you are or what you do here, but you didn't tell us the truth, and I'm sure Mr. Rossi wouldn't countenance that. Say, listen, you better stop You stop them. I ain't putting no finger on no nuns. Hey, what the... I mean, what them lugs downstairs standing up here for, sisters? We would like to see Mr. Rossi. Is he ex expecting you? No, of course not. Oh, I get it. You're collecting for something. Well, if it's convenient, we would like to talk with him. Well, I don't know about that. I'll have to see. Surely. Chief? Chief? Don't cut the cuticle, dear. I never do, dear. Somebody already has, darling. Now, that must have been the girl in Chicago. Of course, dear. Uh, Chief? Yes, what is it, Sam? There's a couple nuns out there. Left in Rosie, let them up. The lugs. Nuns? A touch? Okay. Don't spoil your nails, dear. Get rid of them, Sam. Right away, boss. You've got a heart as big as Madison Square Garden, darling. Sure. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, Joe. That's right. Spread 200,000 in Chicago, New Orleans, Kansas City, and L.A. Yeah. Hold on. I'll find out. Pardon me, dear. Did you hear anything from Santa Anita? Not yet, boss. Not yet. I'll call you back. You better get hold of them, Sam. Well, what's the matter with you? It's them nuns, boss. I can't get rid of them. What do you mean you can't? Did you give them the money? They don't want no money, boss. Then where's the hundred? They took the money, boss. Oh, they did, eh? Excuse me, dear. I'll show you how to get rid of them. Listen, sisters. You are Mr. Rossi? Yes. Now, look here, sisters. I... What are you standing there for? Get Santa Anita. Yes, Chief. Santa Anita? 
Pourquoi appeler une sainte Anita Moi, je n'en connais pas. Oh, Monsieur Rossi part sans doute à Saint-Anne. Oh, well, what, what did she say? What did she ask you? You talked about me. I heard my name. Forgive us, Mr. Rossi, but you mentioned Santa Anita, and Sister said she didn't recall a thing by that name. Listen, Sister, I'm sorry. I'm not interested if there is or there isn't. All I know, there's a racetrack named... There is a Santa Anita. That's Spanish for Saint Anne. Oh, but allow me to introduce ourselves. I'm Sister Margaret, and this is Sister Scholastica. How do you do? Oh, Saint Anne was a wonderful woman, Mr. Rossi. Perhaps Monsieur Rossi would like to sit down while you explain. Oh, of course. I'm so sorry. May we? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thank Sisters. you. Saint Anne was a wonderful woman. She was the wife of Joachim, and they were both of the royal house of David. Their lives were wholly occupied with prayers and good works. But there was one thing lacking to make their union truly happy. They were childless. Oh, why don't you, uh... Oh, thank you. And then our Lord chose this good woman to be the mother of Mary, our blessed lady. And with the birth of Mary, St. Anne's life became full and complete. She watched her child grow with reverent tenderness. You see, she'd been childless for so many years that her daughter seemed to be a miracle to her. As children always seem to be miracles to us. Oh, good morning. How do you do? Scram, dear. told me to scram. Then scram. Call me if he wants me. Hiya, wife. Did you get rid of Dan? Yeah, I got rid of him. Good. Hey, where are you going? To see the chief. He's occupied, and he's going to stay occupied for quite some time. And that deck is as cold as a breath. Uh, 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 uh. You got a very worthy cause, sisters, but you know how it is. I can't do it. I got it in my mind to build the best place that money can buy. A place anybody be proud to own. Something that'll really last. A man like me, he's got to think of where he wants to go when it gets time to retire. You know, when things get too hot. A hideout. Strictly early American. The old Rossi estate. Don't you think perhaps... No, I'm sorry, sisters. I can't do it. Well, we understand, Mr. Rossi. It's only natural that you should want security. Thank you for giving us so much for your time and your generous contribution. That's okay, sisters. Goodbye. Well, good luck to you anyway. God's been very good to us. Our boat docked only two days ago, and already we've made such good friends. Boat? Yes. Where'd you come from? From France. I've been there long? Oh, yes, many years. All through the war? Yes. Uh, during the fighting? I mean, when the GIs landed? Yes, Mr. Rossi. Anywhere near Rouen? Oh, quite near. I know it's a long shot, but I wonder if by any chance you happen to run across our Corporal Rossi, Luigi Rossi, Jr., my kid. That's where he was. I wish we could say that we had. There were so many, though. But I know you must be very proud of him. Yeah. Yeah, well, so long, sisters. Right. Mr. Rossi, your son did come back, didn't he? No. Oh. How sad for you and your wife. My wife, she died before the kid did. It was different with her. She died happy. The priest was with her. And then, after, there was the service in the church. They said a high mass and the funeral at Calvary Cemetery. She's got a big monument there. But I don't know where he is. He was one of the unidentified ones. We'll say a special prayer for him. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Rossi. Sisters. Yes? This hospital, is it going to have windows in it? Oh, why, yes. We, we want it to be as cheerful as possible. I'm not talking about those kind of windows. I'm talking about the colored ones with writing on them. The oh, real ones. You mean stained glass windows? Memorial windows. Well, we hadn't thought about that. Uh, put one in, a big one, with Luigi Rossi Jr. on it, and the land is yours. Come in, sisters. 
Why, surely. Deed to the place. Oh. Oh, Mr. Rossi, we don't know how to thank you. You're a good man. You take that paper down to my lawyer. His address is on the envelope. He'll draw the papers up to make everything strictly legal. Thank you. God bless you. The same to you, sister. Here is the medal of St. Jude to protect you, and God bless you. Thank you, sister. How about a wheel in the eight? What does that mean? That's a good tip I got. He's a sure long shot. Good day, gentlemen. What's this? I don't know. Looks like a bum slug to me. Wonderful, darling. Wait, I'll get the lyrics. Let's start it from the beginning, Bob. Okay. Through a long and sleepless night, I whisper your name. Through a long and sleepless night, Wonderful, darling. I can't tell you. It's just wonderful. No question about it, Bob. A great song. This number's got everything. And what you'll do for it'll be terrific. I'll sing my full head off. You'll see. And if the rest of your score matches it, our play will have a longer run than Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. When do we start rehearsals? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Yes, there was something you had yeah, to... Yeah, I'm afraid we can't start until next summer. Next summer? Yeah, I'll get out of here. What's this? Uh, now, Kitty, don't hey, worry. It's a contract, Kit. Hollywood, a score for some musical. It'll only take 10 or 12 weeks, and then we'll have the best you time. You mean you got me up here in all this snow just to tell me you're postponing your show? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, Kitty, no, sign. Listen, don't, listen don't, Kit, you can't do that. That's a contract. Come on, now, listen. Give it to me, you fool. Give it to me. Now, listen, Kit. <laughs> Now listen, no, no. Come here, now if you don't give it to me, I'm going to tickle you. Oh, please. I warn you, I'm going to tickle you. you I'll count to three. Howard, One, Howard, two, Howard, help. three. Ah, no, give it to me. Give it to me. How do you do? Stop it. Give it to me. How do you do? Stop it. You're Bob. killing me. Come Kitty. on. Stop it. Oh. Oh. 
Good evening, sister. Uh, this is really an unexpected pleasure. Mr. Vincent. Uh, oh, I, I don't believe you know Miss Blaine. Uh, uh, Kitty, this is sister... Uh, uh, Margaret. Margaret. And sister... Uh, Scholastica. Scholastica. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? I'm afraid I'm an awful mess. Oh, I know you look lovely. Oh, uh, won't you come in and sit down, please? Thank you. Sister... Uh, oh, thank you. Well, it looks like we're all set, Howard. Oh, I know she see it your way. <laughs> Congratulate me, sisters. I've just accepted a fat offer from Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes. Haven't I, kid? Yes, you have. We rejoice in your good fortune, Thank Mr. You. Mason. But you'll be going away? Yes, tomorrow. Oh, oh which reminds me. Uh, say, Howard, could, could I have a small advance, say, $200? Oh, um, yeah, hold that. I'd appreciate it if the church would accept a percentage. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mason. Not at all. That's most generous of you. In your great success, you think of us. Merci, monsieur. Think nothing of it. We mustn't intrude any longer on your last evening at home. We only came to thank you for the Jeep. Good the Jeep? Explain. Oh, good use it any time you want, as long as you like, as oh. long as you're here. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Uh, good night. Uh, oh, excuse me. This is my agent, Howard Sheldon, Sister Margaret. How, How do, you do you do, Mr. Sheldon? And Sister... <laughs> Scholastica. <laughs> Scholastica. Good night. Good night, Mr. Mason. Good night, sisters. And bon voyage. Thank you. You know, there's something really very nice about those two. They're very sweet. And I'm glad I gave them the money. Yeah, and besides, you can take it off your income tax. Our Lord has truly blessed our efforts today, sister. We have our land and our first donations. $301.25. His Excellency will be pleased. Yes, indeed. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Which one is it? This one back here. It's a nuisance. Yes. The tools? They're right here under the seat, sister. Jack, I'll Thank you. That building there, it adjoins our land, sister. Oh? If only it were on it. That's the Senor now. Oh, dear God, you do work in strange ways. We? Oui. Sister! Regardez. There perhaps is the reason for our puncture and the answer to our prayers. Come, we'll see. Oh. Uh, you better knock that nail in a little more. Okay. May we look over the building? What say? The building. May we look it over? Oh. Yes, indeed, ma'am. Go right ahead. Thank you. A fine pair of prospects. A lot of good a sign will do. This used to be an old botan plant here. Witch hazel. Pretty handy stuff, too. Sign looks real good. Cost ten dollars. Excuse us. We'd like to buy this building if it isn't too expensive. Oh. <laughs> Well, I reckon we can make a deal, sister. Fine. I'm Jarman, the agent. How do you do, Mr. Just Jarman? what were you figuring on using the place for? As a temporary shelter, until we're able to build our hospital on that hill there. On the Rossi property? Mr. Rossi has kindly donated the land to our order. Donated? Yes. Did he send you here? Oh, no. Providence sent us. Yes. We had a puncture. <laughs> we have it still. Mm. Oh. George, go along and take care of the sister's tire. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jarman. George! Sure thing. Now we can talk business. Well, you see, we have very little money at the moment. And we don't wish to spend it on land when we have land. Well, have you stopped to figure that this building's setting on land? Oh, we'd have to buy that land, of course. It's the rest we don't want. Well, now, could you raise, say, $5,000? Oh, 
Oh, c'est merveilleuse, ma soeur. Une vraie occasion. Nous avons déjà... I think that amount of cash might cinch the deal. Five thousand dollars. Well, perhaps if you gave us three months, would that be too long? Three months? Yes. Well, sister, I'll tell you what we'll do. Seeing as how it's for charity. I'll give you a three months option for a nominal amount, say two hundred dollars, just to make it legal. Uh, won't it be just as legal for fifty dollars? Well, yes, I reckon oh, so. Good. But business is business, and there'll be papers to sign. Of course. So suppose you come along to my office with me, yes. and then we'll start the deal rolling. Surely. Hey? Eh? <laughs> Thank you. George! Take down that sign. Right this way. What's that, sister? You've bought a building. For fifty dollars. Oh, five thousand dollars. Where? A mile out of Bethlehem on the old factory road. Yes, I know the place. Yes, yes, of course I want to see it. This very afternoon. Where are you now? Oh, Miss Potts. Well, stay there. Don't move. Don't do anything else until I get there. Goodbye. Something tells me that an irresistible force has been let loose in New England. Arrange for a car at once. Yes, Excellency. Well, sisters, I've gone over the building carefully, and I must admit it's a bargain. Oh. Yes, the roof is sound, floor is in good condition, and $5,000? Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. That's a real bargain. An incredible bargain, Your Excellency. You know they were asking $30,000 for it only a short while ago. They were? Yes. Do you uh, have the papers Mr. Jarman drew up? Oh, yes, yes, we have. I'd like to look at them, please. Oh, certainly. Excuse me, sister. I have them right back here. Everything is in order, and it was signed before a notary. Sisters? Yes? Do you know what this agreement calls for? A trust deed. Oh, yes, we know, Your Excellency. It's worth $25,000. Oh, Mr. Jarman was most charitable. And it's good for 10 years, Your Excellency. Yes. Sisters, a trust deed is a mortgage. Mortgage? Yeah. His Excellency means, to put it plainly, yes. you have to pay it. It does not pay you. You see, sisters, the price of the building is not $5,000, but $30,000. $30,000? $30,000, sister. And as this is impossible, impossible, I shall attempt to recover your $50 from Mr. Jarman and have the option canceled. Oh, please, please, Your Excellency, I beg of you, don't do that. Please let us try to raise the money. How can you? Be practical, Sister Margaret. How can you? Well, I am practical, Your Excellency. We have the land and, and the building, uh, practically. And we have $301.25. And soon we're going to have more and more because we're planning to buy a bell. A bell? Yes. What can you do with a bell? We shall begin by ringing it, Your Excellency. Yes. Do you mean, sisters, that you believe that all you have to do to raise $5,000 in the United States is to ring a bell? Well, it, it, it will draw attention to the lace and the jams and the cakes which we shall offer for sale. I'm afraid my little kitchen isn't large enough. Oh, you have a very nice kitchen, Miss Potts. And then there's our pottery, Your Excellency. Oh, our pottery was much in demand. Sister Scholastic is expert. Oh, thank you, sister. Your hook drugs were also much admired. Thank, thank you. Jam, cakes, rugs, pottery. Why, it's impossible for you two to raise anywhere near the amount required by selling these things. Oh, but we shall have the help of the others. The others? Yes. What others? Well, the other sisters who have promised to come over and help us. How many, sister? Well, now, let me see. There's, uh, Sister Winifred and Sister Margaret and, uh, Sister Thomas. Not who, sister? How many? Oh. Ten, Your Excellency. Eleven, sister. You forgot Sister Constantia. You remember the Oh, last yes, moment. I did. Eleven, Your Excellency. And then, of course, there's, uh, Father Barreau. He's our chaplain. <laughs> Oh, dear Miss Potts, he won't cause you any trouble. He's happy anywhere. He was in a concentration camp for years. So there's no room Don't here. Don't worry, Miss Potts. They will not come. This whole thing must be stopped immediately, sisters. It's gone too far already. I shall cable at once and put a stop to this, this migration. And uh, I shall see Jarman and get him to refund your money. And you, sisters, must prepare to leave. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. This is my final word on the subject. Miss Potts, if I may use your telephone. Of course. It's in the house. Excuse me. Thank you. 
Friends, Your Excellency. Mon père. Your Excellency, may I present Father Barrow and Monsignor Talbot, Father Barrow. Sister Thomasine. Monsignor Talbot. Sister Therese. Monsignor Talbot. Sister Constantia. Monsignor Talbot. Sister Madeleine. Oh, et ce tableau, il est ravissant. Venez, ma soeur. Faites de la qualité. Mais c'est un chef-d'œuvre, comme c'est beau. Oh, c'est très beau. Pardon, mademoiselle. Pardon. C'est très beau. Il est très beau, votre tableau. Très beau. God will bless you for giving them shelter, Miss Potts. Yes, but where will he let me paint? Oh, I, I know we've posed on you dreadfully. But soon, when we've accomplished our work, you'll look at that hospital of St. Jude and know that your kindness and self-sacrifice helped to build it. Sister Margaret. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but they arrived sooner than I'd expected. You see, they were so eager to help. Obviously. Very well, sister. They are here, and it's too late to do anything about that. But I want you to understand that I shall permit you all to remain only for the period of your option, three months. If by then you have failed to raise the necessary money or are unable to sustain yourselves, we'll all have to leave. Is that clear, sister? Oh, yes, Your Excellency, and thank you. God bless you. And you, Miss Potts. Excellency, it is that irresistible force against which, quite obviously, there's no defense. It hasn't been for nearly 2,000 years. I talked up so big. Al, uh, Mr. Newman, this is Anthony, and this is Mr. and Mrs. Townsend Cooper. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Townsend Cooper, hyphenated, you know. Glad to see you, Mrs. and Mrs. Townsend Cooper. Now, if you all excuse me, the car's right over there. I'll get these bags. Oh, where are you? Oh, I think Bosch is gone. Come on. Right over there, right over there. You all right, man? Out of the Out of the Where's the car? Anthony, where's the car? Right here, boss. Get here. Get right here. Where did this come from? Well, I had to rent it, boss. Rent it? Well, what happened to the station wagon? Well, yes, the, the sister's boss uh, had to Oh, the nun, it. is she still here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, why didn't she take the Jeep? Well, the Jeep, boss, the, the sister had to do an errand. Oh, the then they're both the... still here. <laughs> yes, sir, boss. Yes, sir. Well, that's the nuns I was telling you about, the one staying with Amelia Potts for a while. Thought traffic tickets were throwaway ads. Come on, kid, get in. you've got here, Bob. Yeah, I'm rather proud of it. Well, you should be. <laughs> Anthony. Yes, put those two bags up in the spare room on the right. Okay. What's that? What's what? 
That there. That's a duck. I better get these bags inside. But who's that nun? Don't know, boss. All nuns look like to me. I better get some ice and make some nice cold drink. Anthony. Yes, boss. What's going on around here? There ain't nothing. Hold it. I said, what's going on around here? Who are all those nuns? Oh, they're just a little handful of them, boss. Staying at the stable. They don't make any bother. How many of them are there? Never counted them, boss. I better get you folks set. Come on, Buzz. Let's get out of these clothes. What is the tennis court, Bob? Excuse me a minute. There, there's something the matter. <laughs> oh, Arson, you poor thing. Well, what are you tied up for, baby? What's the matter? Anthony! Yes, Bob. Come here. Oh, don't untie, Bob. What's the don't meaning untie. of this? Don't, don't untie. Are you crazy? No dog of mine's gonna be tied up. But look how thin he is, boss. Well, what's he tied up for? Well, his ribs is all thin. He's running his legs off. Oh, nonsense. No dog of mine is gonna be tied up in my house. But it is cruel to keep him tied up, Anthony. Oh, but you see, Miss Kitty, I... There. Well, now if that's settled, how about a drink, everybody? Mm, I'm ready for one. Yeah, me too. Trying the dog up in the house. Come on, help me with the drinks. Never mind, Anthony. I'll help you. What do you have, Al? What do you want, Budge? I want scotch and water, but don't drown it. Oh, say, Al, I wanted to show you this. I got a whole case of this. See if you think it's any good. You just good didn't or not. like being tied up, did you? It was pretty good. I had a kind of a nice bouquet, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, what's the matter with him? He must have seen a squirrel. A squirrel? Say, what's that racket? You mean that little ringing sound, boss? I mean that infernal din. What is it? Oh, that's a bell belonging to the sisters. Excuse me, boss. Let me get the thing up. Boy. Bell? Yes. What are the sisters doing with a bell? R ringing the customers, boss. Customers? For what? Uh, the, the, for the little thing that they sell down here. Look at down it. where? At Miss Potts? That's right, boss. I'm going down to see what's well, up. Just a minute, boss. Oh, now, now, see you later. Zip up. Oh, oh, pardon, monsieur. Excusez-moi, je vous en prie. Yes. <laughs> pardon me, can you tell me where Miss Potts is? Pardon. The lady who lives here. Je m'excuse, monsieur. Je parle pas l'anglais. Oh, excuse me. Do you speak English by any chance? English? No, mais ça ne fait rien. Je peux vous montrer. No, 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 ce English, je... English. Non, mais regardez celui-ci comme il est yes, beau. Yes, well, thank you very much. Merci, merci. Il n'y a pas de quoi. No, no, no. Pass to Marguerite. Miss Potts, I want Miss Potts. Oh, Miss Potts, yes. oh, Miss Potts, elle est en haut. Merci. You're perfectly welcome. Oh, Mr. Mason. Oh, Mr. Mason, how nice to see you back. Did you have a pleasant journey? Yes, thank you. Uh, I worked pretty hard, of course. Yes, we've been working, too. Obviously. Oh, is this the Scholastica? She'll be so glad to see you again. Oh, not now. Uh, I've, I'm looking for Miss Potts. Oh, well, she's right up there on the hill. Yes, I know. Mr. Hello. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, good... uh, perhaps we'll see you later? Perhaps. <laughs> when did he come back? I don't know. Well, come on, little fella. I'll put you back where you belong. Very nice to see you back. And how very nice of you to come way up here to see me. Look here, Amelia. I want to talk to you. What's the idea of taking those nuns in behind my back? Well, 
Robert, behind your back. Yes. Well, I... You weren't even here. What's that got to do with it? You moved those nuns in while I was away, and the place is flooded I... with them. Robert. The chickens, the geese, the, the goats, the ducks, the, and heaven knows what else. Now, you've got to get rid of them, Amelia, the whole flock of them. But, Robert, I, I'm surprised. You've got to... You, you don't even know why they're here. I don't now, they're care going to build why. a hospital for sick children. They've worked and slaved and saved every penny. That's they... very noble of them, but they're not going to do it here. Now, see here, Amelia, you've got to get rid of them, or you'll have to leave yourself. Well, as a matter of fact, no one's going to move them. I they're don't... going to move themselves tomorrow. You... Well, well, why didn't you say so? Well, well, then there's no need for this rumpus, is there? Where are they moving to? There. Where? There. there. You mean the old factory? But that's across from my place. They can't put a hospital there. I won't let them. I won't stand oh, for it. Oh, you won't, won't you? The moment they pay Mr. Jarman $4,950, they'll own that property, and there's nothing you can do about it. Just wait and see. I intend to. He'd be here for the accounting. He is so part of our project. He is indeed. Yeah. Perhaps we can give him the good news later. Oh, good news? Yes, indeed. Look at this. Look. The jams and patties and laces and embroideries and eggs and milks and cheese and other items have brought us just over two thousand dollars. Two thousand one hundred and ninety-eight dollars and seventy-five centimes. Thank you, Father. And then there's our hooked rug. A oh, your design and execution, sister, which was so generously bought by Mrs. Spooner for twenty-two hundred dollars. Now that brings our total up so far, including contributions, to now let me see. Uh, uh, four thousand five hundred and four dollars and two centimes. Five hundred and four dollars and two cents. But that isn't enough. Oh, well, we only need about $500 more, and that should be easy to raise. By noon tomorrow. Oh, no, of course not, Miss... Tomorrow? Yes. Oh, oh, no, no, that can't be. You must be mistaken, Miss Potts. Uh, no, it was exactly three months ago tomorrow. I remember the day so well. It can't be. Why, we... The time has just flown by, and we... We've been so busy working, and... Five hundred dollars to raise in one day, it might as well be a million. Monsieur Rossi? Oh, no. No, sister. We mustn't ask him again. And anyway, you remember, he sent us a postcard. He's resting in that little place in California. What's the name of it? Bay Meadows? Bay Meadows. I just can't believe that we failed. Perhaps we didn't work hard enough. Perhaps we left something undone. I don't know. Perhaps it was because we neglected to dig the foundation for the small shrine on the hill. That was my fault, sister, because I don't like to dig. If I only had the money, I would... We know you would, Miss Potts. We know you would. Sister, tomorrow morning at dawn, we'll start building our shrine. Yes. And then we'll call Mr. Jarman and ask you for a week's extension. It's so little time. He's sure to agree, don't you think? Yes. yes I don't know. I think so. Well, Father, shall we finish? Yes. How about you, Father? Oh, come on. Don't let those nuns get you down. Play the song. I want to hear Kitty sing it. Kitty can sing it. I'm begging off. I, I can't play it. I'm just not in the mood. Well, then Al will play it. Come on, Al. Sure. Where is it? Only What's the key? A. Uh oh. Through a long and sleepless night, I whisper your name. Through a long and sleepless night. Of who is to blame? Can't help but wonder if you're lonely too. As I lie there and toss about, so at a loss about you. would leave my memories alone. Why must I redream, relive the joys we have known? I pray that someday our love will see the light. Till then in tick-tock 
Distinction, Bob. You're up there. Guess I was right when I picked you as a comer years ago. Did you hear that, Bob? And that from a music critic, too. Oh, it was beautiful, Bob. Just a minute. What's the matter? Accusing me of lifting that tune? Well, it's been done before. Well, not by me, and I can prove it. Look here. The first notes I made, just as I originally wrote them down when I first thought of the song, wrote them right down on the back of my orders. A couple of weeks after my outfit landed in France, near Valère. I was walking through a field taking a breather when it came to me as clearly as if I'd heard it. Four years ago, in France, near Valère. This over 1,400 years ago. Gregorian plain chant. Cantalena Romano. For my money, the most perfect artistic achievement in the golden age of music. I don't know why I didn't uh, catch on to it when I played that tune of yours. You think I'd be low enough to swipe a hymn from nuns? Not consciously. Forget it, Bob. I've got 50 bucks that says Kitty and I can beat you at ping pong. Five games out of six. You're on. How about it, Kitty? Come on, old girl. Let's go. Go on, kid. And what are you going to do, Bob? I'll give you one guess. Where do you think our shrine should be? I think this looks like a good spot, don't you, sister? Yes. Right about here? There. I'll hold it down for you. There. All right?
me. What happened to the water? Anthony! 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 You calling me? Where have you been? Been watching a miracle ball? If you never saw one before, you better go right down and see one now. There's a stream of water shooting 20 feet in the air. And it came to the sisters just as they were digging a hole to put up a shrine. Miracle? They hit my water pipe, and that tears it. Get the jeep. I'm going into Bethlehem. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Mr. Mason. The sisters called me the first thing this morning and asked for an extension. Their option expires at noon today, and... You didn't give it to them, did you? No, I did not. I have another buyer who's interested. And while I think the sisters have a most worthy cause, well... <laughs> Business is business. Good, glad to hear it. He's Thanks. a more reliable buyer, too. He's going to put up a fertilizer plant. A what? Fertilizer plant. Tried to get one right here in Bethlehem proper, but the Board of Selectment voted thumbs down on it. Fumes, you know. Fumes. How much did this fertilizer guy offer you for the place? 31,000. And if I offered you 32,000? I think we could make a deal. Providing, of course, the sisters don't pick up their option. But I hardly think it likely they can raise $500 in two hours. Okay. It's a deal. Good. That's the way to do it. I've got it. Oh, sorry, Al. I'm just no good. Oh, forget it. It's only tennis, Kit. Oh, hi. Fifteen, love. Miss Blaine? Blaine? We have visitors. Ready? Ah, nice sir, fellas. I've got it. You'll no, hold that. I got it. Oh! Get it out! Oh, I've got it. I got it. Good for you. Stay back. I'll grab it there. That's right. On again. Good for the party. Get it out. Yeah, I'll I'll get it. Get it. I got That's it, Kitty. It. Oh, too bad. Kitty. Uh -oh. for us. Just keep your eye on the ball. Oh, is that the way? Mm, do tell. Well, it's not really necessary, unless you first put some string over that hole in your racket. I'm playing as though I've been bought off. Oh, forget it. Come on. But you know, I'd really give a small fortune just to beat them once. Nice to see you, sisters. Please excuse us, but we couldn't help overhearing what you just said now. Would you really give a small fortune? Uh, perhaps as a donation to a good cause for the opportunity to defeat the lady and the gentleman? Well, yes, I guess you could say that. Maybe not a small fortune, but... Oh. Well, would you consider $500 less than a small fortune? Well, yes, I suppose so. Uh, yes, I'd give 500 Why? Thank you. Sister? But see, Stella, it's been so long. I know, I know. But it is a solution. Okay. May I see your racket, please? Thank you. Quelle peinture? What size your shoes? A bon, may I? Thank you. Two sets out of three, okay? Okay. Ready? Yes, all set. I'm sorry, monsieur. It is a long time that I do not play. Oh, that's all right, sister. Fifteen, love. Quite all right, monsieur. Forty, love.
Anthony. Hello, boss. Where is everybody? Down at the tennis court. Oh, fine. Hey, when you have time, put the Jeep away, will you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on here? Shh. Isn't she marvelous? Hello, Mr. Mason. Oh, hello. Your guest was in need of a partner, and he very kindly offered to donate $500 if he insisted Scholastica should win. Oh? Uh -huh. you, you mean you're going to get $500 from them if they beat this? Shh. This is the match game. Game, set, and match. I'm sorry, monsieur. Marvelous match. I've never enjoyed a game so much in my life. Maybe one day we'll play them again. Then we'll take them. Where'd you learn to play like that? That's what I was going to ask. Amazing game. You were wonderful. No, one was that. I was not wonderful. You remember, perhaps, Jocelyn Allard of the 1939 French team? Yes. <laughs> you are Jocelyn Allard? Really? No, mademoiselle. No longer. I lost. Oh, you tried, sister. That's the important thing. You did fine, sister. Didn't you, Mr. Mason? Sure, very nice. Mr. Mason. I know this isn't the right moment, and you've been so good to us already, but we were hoping that... I know you... all about it, sister, and the answer is no. Now, don't misunderstand me. It's not that I'm against your religion or any religion. It's just that I don't want a hospital in my backyard. I'm sorry, sister, but that's the way I feel. Goodbye, sisters. Ce sera bientôt l'heure du départ, mes sœurs. Veuillez vous préparer. We must go back, Miss Potts. And we want you to know that you have our everlasting prayers and gratitude. But, Sister Margaret, we've failed. Oh, no. No, not in God's plan we haven't failed. Even though we don't understand it now. If there was only something I could do, I feel so helpless. And you know, for the first time in my life, I know how it feels to be poor. Poor? Oh, my dear Miss Potts, you're a rich woman. You're rich in kindness and greatness of heart and faith. Come now, you mustn't cry for us. It isn't hard to relinquish a dream if it's God's will. Yes. Then you add a beaker of bourbon, and you shake. And then you shake some more. Quite a recipe, Anthony. It never fails, Miss Kitty. It never fails. A couple of snorts of this, 
and you'll feel him no pain. <laughs> Come on, Anthony, I'm ready to try it. Have you finished making that concoction yet? Just add in the finishing touches, boss. There you are, folks. There you are. Now, when you folks are ready, we have cold duck, turkey, potato salad, mixed green salad, Thank cheese you. and coffee, cranberry. Waiting for you, right? Oh, good. I'm famished. Me too. Well, here's luck. To Bob's success and commerce and industry. Here, here. Here, here. What's the gag? I don't get it. I wonder how you like being the wife of a witch hazel tycoon, Kip. Oh, I suppose I'll get used to it in time. Sure. You'll be very helpful to Bob, too. You know, singing those radio commercials you'll write. Mason's witch hazel is a must in your homes. For freckles and scratches and for your bruised bones. <laughs> Excuse me, I forgot something. You forgot to mind your own business. I didn't do nothing, boss. I just gave the folks a few interesting facts. That's no concern of yours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The buffet is ready, so if you'll excuse me, I've got to help certain people with that package. Help what people with what? Oh, yeah, yes, go on. It's not Anthony's fault, Bob. I was the one who was asking... I suppose all... that makes it quite ethical. After what you did to those sisters, <laughs> you're hardly in the position to talk about ethics. Would any one of you have done any different if you were in my place? Progress, Kip, progress. She's still living in a cocoon. Doesn't realize the merits of a bottling plant over a children's hospital. Now, I... Uh, very funny. You. If you ask me, you've got a very short memory. I seem to recall the city wanting to build a playground in your neighborhood. And the moment you heard about it, you went around ringing doorbells trying to get people to sign a petition against it. Yeah, but... Well, that was different. Different, because it happened to you. It is rather a bit different, Bob. One must consider the humanitarian aspect, must one? One must, and I have. Look, supposing you'd worked all your life hoping someday to be able to build a place in the country where you could work and live the way you want to. Finally, you get a break. And you get some money and you build your house. You sink a lot of dough into it. And along comes somebody who wants to build a hospital right in your front yard. Would you stand for it? Would anybody stand for it? I know how you feel, Bob, but these sisters are doing a worthy thing. Sure, I know it's a worthy thing. I'm all for it. I'm for a lot of worthy things. Orphan asylums, insane asylums, old people's homes, sanitariums. But I'm just like everybody else. I don't want them right under my nose. And I'm honest enough to say so. Pour another round of drinks, kid. I'm going out to cool off. Come on, Arson. I can't say that I blame him. I should think that an ambulance siren going day and night would be awfully disturbing for tennis. Not to mention composing music. Oh, that too, of course. I'll get you another drink. You've come to say goodbye to us. It's kind of you, monsieur. When are you leaving, sisters? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Well, isn't there something I can do, something you need? Uh, the station wagon or the jeep? Oh, thank you. But you've already loaned us Anthony to help us with our packing. Oh, that's nothing. And now you've saved us a walk. We were coming over to your house to give you this. What? Well, it's the money that you gave us. We won't be needing it now, and so it's only right that you should have it back. But, sister, I, I don't want it back. Can't you use it for something uh, to help pay your expenses home? Oh, that's very kind of you, of course, but that's all taken care of by our mother house in Villers. Villers? Yes. In Normandy? Uh, yes, do you know it? Yes, I, I know it. Oh, how nice. Sisters, I'd like to do something. 
isn't there... Isn't there anything... Well, you could say a prayer for us. Well, I'm afraid prayers aren't much in my line. I'm not very good at that sort of thing. But, uh, if it'll please you... Oh, it will. And it'll please God so much.